all of a sudden, a whole bunch of cruisers did it too. It was like people ripping off their clothes, people jumping with their clothes on, just everybody getting in the pool. Welcome back on board the Virgin Voyages Valiant Lady and People. I have got to tell you about last night. from the very unofficial travel guides I travel all around the world to popular and not so popular tourist destinations to give you a very honest unofficial look at what it was like to be there nobody pays me to go any place and say anything is good or bad what you see here are my opinions I also wrote a book called getting stitches on a cruise ship with weird crazy fun stories about things that have happened to me around the world if you want to give me a little extra support and get something fun to read, go check it out on Amazon. And for those of you who have been here on the very unofficial travel guides for a while, you know that this is not my first cruise with Virgin Voyages, and you will also know that Virgin Voyages is not really like my high on my list of preferences when it comes to cruise lines. A lot of the things they do on Virgin are different than on other cruise lines. I think it's cool that they're trying to offer sort of like a completely new experience. Sometimes I think changing things just so they're changed does not necessarily lead to a better result or a more positive or more fun experience. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And I would also like to just remind you before we get into this that once again this is all just my opinion and me saying that I enjoyed something or didn't enjoy something is absolutely not proof that it is good or bad or that you will enjoy it or not enjoy it it's just what it is and one of the things that is very different and that was sort of memorable on our first cruise with Virgin are some of these kind of strange weird activities that are are different for instance the VHS workout which is an 80s themed it's like a mix of a show and an actual aerobic workout dance class that was very fun. I'm happy to report that on this journey, we've gotten the chance to do a couple things that we didn't get to do or that we just didn't do on our first cruise with Virgin Voyages and they've been pretty cool. One of them was bingo with the diva. Every Virgin Voyages has a re resident diva, a drag performer. And on this journey, our drag queen is hosting Bingo, it hasn't been every day, but it's been a couple times and we went for the first time today It was a lot of fun because it was a show there were singing numbers. There was a lot of comedy very perverted comedy Just to remind you again Virgin Voyages is an adults only line and you are not gonna enjoy it if you don't like perverted sexual humor Cause there's a lot of it. And another thing that made this bingo really special is the jackpots were very generous. I think the lowest jackpot was already over $200 and the major jackpot was over $500. So that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money to win just playing bingo. You could buy the smallest uh, the smallest package for bingo was just $30 and then if you pay $30 and then win over $500. That's not bad. Another activity that we got to do on this sailing that we didn't do on the last sailing was go to trivia. We went to two different rounds of trivia. One was uh, hosted by the foodie, which is, that's also a, like a crew member on board who specializes just in all the food and restaurant stuff. Her trivia was all about food and there were some really pretty complicated, complex questions. It wasn't like general knowledge, it was some of the questions were very specific. We also went to a music trivia which had three rounds and two of the rounds were questions and then the final round was name that tune. I'm really good at name that tune. We got a lot of points in that round but the other two rounds was very difficult. By the way, the prize for winning trivia is the entire team gets a round of drinks for free so that's also not a bad prize just for trivia. Usually on the other cruise lines you're getting like a keychain or a pen or something that is very minimal and I think the the average price of a cocktail on this ship is like $13 maybe so that's not a bad prize. Another new thing that we're gonna be doing or that I'm gonna be doing on this cruise that we didn't do on the last cruise, it's happening today so I haven't done it yet, is there is a boy band dance moves class. So I guess we're learning some of the choreography from like NSYNC and New Kids on the Block videos. I'm really looking forward to that and those are kind of just like the fun young or for the young or young at heart and active 
people activities that they offer on Virgin, including also dodgeball. When is the last time you played dodgeball? For me, it was just a couple days ago and my team lost bad. But so this afternoon, boy band moves, dance class, also new thing, really looking forward to it. But the one thing I want to tell you about that has been such a crazy experience and an absolute highlight for me that we didn't get to do on the last cruise is the pool party at the end of Scarlet Night. Scarlet Night is also something that's very different. The shows, if you want to call them shows here on board, are a very different concept than I've experienced on any other cruise ship. They're not personally for my taste. We've had the opportunity to see a couple of the shows for the second time on this sailing already and I just don't need to see them again. That doesn't mean they're good or bad and the people in the shows are very talented but it, they're just not the kind of shows that that I need to see again. And Scarlet Night is like a mix of pop-up shows where dance numbers just all of a sudden happen in a random bar. There's a 15 minute singing show in the main theater. There are some secret pop-up shows that you have to speak to a crew member about and they will like sort of sneak you through the back door to go see them. And they're just kind of entertainment happening all along deck seven. And then the highlight of this event is the big dance club party at the end. And on our last cruise, it was in the main theater, which is a versatile space. They can take the seats away and make it just like a big open, like a big open room. The weather wasn't good enough to have it as a pool party, so they had it in the theater and we had a good time, but I didn't know how much more fun it would be to actually have it at the pool. And in order to give you a good idea of what this is like, first I want to show you what the pool looks like during the day. The pool on board the Virgin ships is also kind of a matter of discussion. It's been actually the, the object of a lot of criticism because for the amount of passengers that the ship can take, the pool area is kind of cramped. This cruise is not full, but you can see how full the pool looks even with the ship at like, I don't know, three quarters capacity maybe. There's a lot of places to lay in the sun up on the top sun deck as well. There's these cool like sun chairs so you can get a little bit of shade. They've almost got like mattresses in them. These kind of things are usually only available in uh, like if you pay for a cabana, but they're just there so you can use them on Virgin. Anyways, this is what the pool looks like during the day. And at night, on Scarlet Night, it's transformed into the club. and. The atmosphere was so crazy. First of all, there is a dance show with also a live singer and then the dancers dancing along the pool deck. Then they get into the shallow parts of the pool and do a number there and they're splashing everybody in the crowd, which is fine because even though it's September here in the Mediterranean, it has been so hot. Yesterday at 10.30 in the morning, it was already 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Excuse me? Anyways, I'm loving the hot weather. I know it's gonna be a cold winter in Germany, so we're enjoying enjoying it as much as we can. I'm not complaining about it being hot, but it was so nice to be up on the pool deck, dancing, getting sweaty, watching the show, and then all of a sudden they just started splashing everybody. That was a really nice thing. And then at the end of it, all of the performers jump into the deep part of the pool, and all of a sudden, a whole bunch of cruisers did it too. It was like people ripping off their clothes, people jumping with their clothes on, just everybody getting in the pool. It was so crazy. I've never experienced something quite like that before. Not that I can remember that like full-grown, well-educated people just jumping into the pool with their clothes on or stripping down to their underwear and jumping in the pool in their underwear. Just so you know, I did neither of those things, but it's not because I wouldn't do it, I just didn't. And the party that ensued then, the amount of energy in this pool area and just the, the splashing and the laughing and the having fun, that is an absolute highlight of this cruise for me. And it's, this is gonna sound like a huge criticism, but it's one of the very few things about cruising with Virgin now that 
if we were to cruise with Virgin again that I would really, really look forward to. That doesn't mean that I think that everything on the ship is bad. It's all just a matter of taste. It's a matter of if I'm gonna be spending money on a cruise, what is it I want to have on that cruise? And a lot of the things that I like to have on a cruise are not on Virgin Voyages or they're on here in a way that is way too different for me to be able to accept that compromise, let's say. But if I were to cruise with Virgin again, I would want it to be someplace warm because this pool party was just, it was so much fun. We ended up, I think Marcus and I stayed up until like three o'clock in the morning last night. And we're old, I mean, that's late for us. By the way, before the party last night, speaking of being old, before the party last night, we went to see, the, there's a comedian on board, and he asked the audience, like, he's like, clap if you're under 20, clap if you're under 30, clap if you're under 40. And I think the average age was probably in the 40s and 50s, as far as the people in the comedy show who were clapping. So I know a lot of the original advertising material for Virgin was geared at like 18 to 25 years, five year olds it seemed. And well, the advertising has changed a little bit, I think since the beginning, but altogether on both of my Virgin cruises, that hasn't been the majority of cruisers. But both of them have also been here in Europe and I don't know what it's like. If you've done a Virgin cruise out of Florida, please let me know what the like what the demographic was of people on board. Uh, here, it's mostly like 40s, 50 year olds. Uh, I can't say if it's families or not because kids are not allowed on this cruise. Kids are not allowed. There are a lot of same sex couples on this cruise and I met some of uh, my viewers out there and they told me they're doing, or they did a back to back on this cruise. So they were on the last cruise and they're staying on this one for like, two weeks at a time, and they said on the last cruise it was like really extremely gay, and that they had a great time, and that the, the energy in the shows and the clubs and all that was a really great energy, and they said that this cruise is noticeably more, more hetero, I guess you would say. I can't remember the point I was trying to make. Oh yeah, I'm just talking about the demographic, the, the kind of people who are showing up here on the Virgin Cruises. They might not be as young as you think, and it's definitely a very LGBTQ, and so on and so forth, friendly cruise line. I, I made another video about that. This is probably the most friendly cruise line for people of the LGBTQ community. All right, I just wanted to sit down and tell you a little bit about this crazy pool party just because it was such a, an unexpected highlight for me. I've been to parties on cruise ships before. I've been to pool parties on cruise ships before, but I have never experienced something quite like this. So if this video encouraged you to book a Virgin Cruise now, let me know in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up before you go. Check out my book, Getting Stitches on a Cruise Ship, available on Amazon and See you back here soon.